Founded in 1880, Pierre, South Dakota is a small city with a population of about 14,000, making it the second least populous state capital after Montpelier, Vermont, and the eighth largest city in South Dakota. While Pierre is somewhat laid back, it's home to several exciting attractions and outdoor pursuits. Join Vucation as we discuss some of the best things to do in Pierre, South Dakota. Trail of Governors the Trail of Governors is dedicated to honoring South Dakota's governors in a unique and enduring manner. It's a line of life-size statues of all past South Dakota governors forming a trail from the state capital area to downtown Pierre. And with each statue, there's a short piece of narrative about them. The life-size bronze statues of past governors were created by several South Dakota artists. Future governors will be included in the Trail of Governors as well. It's the only trail of its kind anywhere in the U.S., and the plan is to erect at least three new statues each year. South Dakota State Capitol The South Dakota State Capitol was built in 1910, and it has been used every day since then as the state of South Dakota's offices, the home of the South Dakota Supreme Court, and the South Dakota State Legislature, which meets each year from January to March. The state capital in Pierre is known for its spectacular architecture, with its interior beautified by native stone, Indiana limestone, and Italian marble. Scagliola columns, statues, stained glass windows, and artwork also adorn the inside of the building. It has many distinguishing features. Even the floors have a mystery to them. It's said that 66 Italian workers each left their mark on the building in the form of a blue tile laid randomly on the floor. On the second floor, the 96-foot-high open rotunda is decorated with 16 depictions of symbols such as the Tree of Life, Acanthus leaves, and the South Dakota state flower, the Pask flower. The third level houses the House of Representatives and the Senate. More statues, including memorials of the Second World War, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, and Governor Mickelson, are located just outside Capitol grounds. The state capitol has majestic architecture inside and out. Sculptures and paintings adorn the central rotunda. There's also a marble staircase that leads to the display of miniature gowns worn by each first lady at the inaugural balls and one tux when the governor was a lady. The capital is more than just a place where bills are debated and meetings are held. The building's exquisite features and events make it a popular tourist destination. Oahe Dam the Oahe Dam, located just north of Pierre and Fort Pierre, South Dakota, is a large earthen dam on the Missouri River, officially named by President John F. Kennedy in 1962. This dam is the fourth biggest man-made reservoir in the U.S. and is one of the world's largest earth-rolled dams. The dam's power plant supplies power to much of the north-central U.S. The Oahe Dam also supplies irrigation, flood control, hydropower generation, and navigation benefits. The dam further provides excellent recreation opportunities for visitors of all ages. It has a visitor center, which offers a complete history of the lake and surrounding area. Power plant tours are available as well. The dam has beautiful scenery, which is excellent if you're planning on taking a picnic or snapping a few pictures, providing the ultimate combination of beauty and function. It's a must-see. The Flaming Fountain Flaming Fountain Memorial can be found on the shores of Capitol Lake. This phenomenal monument is dedicated to the local South Dakotans who fought for the city and their country. There's a fountain, stone memorial, and waterfall adorned with an eagle statue that remembers the members of the mighty Sioux Nation who died in America's modern war. In the past, the fountain's flames would rise above the water. Water is drawn from a nearby well that feeds into Capitol Lake, and when gas is channeled into the memorial and lit, flames begin to dance above the top of the fountain. This flaming fountain is an elegant and thoughtful tribute to fallen warriors in all branches of service. There are memorial walls to police officers and firefighters as well. It's a calming place to reflect on fallen heroes and one of the best memorials in America. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for more and stick around for more of the best of Pierre, South Dakota. La Framboise Island The photo-worthy island of La Framboise Island Nature Area is located along the Missouri River, and paying it a visit is one of the best things to do in Pierre, South Dakota. This scenic island is magnificent, with its lush greenery covered in trees and meadows, and it's home to numerous species of wildlife and birds. Some of the common wildlife include deers, wild turkeys, and bald eagles. Its other facilities include hiking and biking trails, a boat ramp, a fishing dock, and a picnic shelter. If nature and beautiful scenery are your thing, this is totally your spot. 
Visitors can stroll through nature trails shaded by Russian olive, cedar, ash, and native cottonwood trees. The designated picnic shelter is close to the boat ramp, where families and groups can enjoy a day out in the open. The island itself has a popular trail system ideal for hiking, biking, walking, photography, and nature viewing. The La Framboise Island Trail makes for an easy and comfortable stroll suitable for tourists of all ages. It's broken up into small loops, including the river, forest, and prairie trails, so you can customize the length of your walk. The paths are wide and well-maintained, and benches for resting and enjoying the view can be found along the way. The island boasts features like quiet, secluded beaches, a nice mix of woods and prairie fields across the island's interior, and a great view of rolling hills in the distance. South Dakota Cultural Heritage Center The South Dakota Cultural Heritage Center opened in 1989 with the mission of interpreting and preserving the state's heritage and culture. The center is host to the state's archives, a museum, historic preservation efforts, and research and publishing offices. Three permanent exhibits of the museum highlight South Dakota's cultural heritage from the native tribes to the present day. The exhibits are exceptional and show the history of South Dakota from multiple perspectives as they move through historical events using narratives, museum pieces, videos, audio, and photos. The history of numerous Native American tribes, primarily the Sioux tribes, immigrants, military members, women, and politicians is detailed and attractively displayed. This lovely structure has Native American and pioneer displays as well as many rare items reflecting South Dakota's history. The most exciting thing about the South Dakota Heritage Center is that it's not your typical museum structure. This museum is built into the side of a hill and much of it is underground. The exhibits are well curated and there's a great deal of information about the history of South Dakota's native people's struggles. The building is stunning in the way they built it into the hillside. It's definitely worth a tour when visiting Pierre. South Dakota National Guard Museum the museum is currently located in the old truck and gun shed built by the South Dakota National Guard and Works Project Administration in 1941. The South Dakota National Guard Museum was set up to honor the heritage and accomplishments of the National Guard members both past and present of South Dakota but has quickly become a great tourist attraction. The historical relics of the National Guard of South Dakota are on display. Both the Army and Air National Guard have a rich history that visitors will learn all about. It also has a unique showcase of military relics, uniforms, equipment, and vehicles. It has a large area for visitors to explore. Outside the museum is an array of weapons on display, such as the Sherman tank, 75mm cannon, A7D jet, anti-aircraft guns, and a 105mm howitzer. Some of these artifacts date as far back as 1860. The South Dakota Museum is one of just 20 authorized National Guard museums in the U.S. Stop by and learn the history and heroes of the South Dakota Guard. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Pierre, South Dakota? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.